All right, we are live. Do you see that? Ooh, yeah, Oops. there we go. I'm echoing on myself. Hello, hello. Tara, I think you're muted. Hello. Welcome, Tara. Welcome to Rappler on basically all platforms right now. This is like too many platforms to keep track Welcome. of. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the hello, studio. Good evening. Where are you calling us from? <laughs> I am right now. I'm in Cinema One in Cinema Seventy Six wow. Film Society here in Anonas, um, How's right the above there? the cafe. Actually, it's pouring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, it's like you know, pouring outside. That's why I'm also yeah. muting because, like, right now, truly, really, I'm in Laguna, so <laughs> it's all over Manila right now. Rabi. Yeah. Stay dry, everyone. Hey, so make sure to share this live. Ah, We're gonna. Okay. We are going to, uh, yeah, that's actually what I've been doing this whole time. We're going to be uh, starting this uh, interview soon, everyone. Thanks for coming in wherever so you're that, uh, coming in from. Feel free to <laughs> share it on your platforms for your, you know, for your fans. For your fans, <laughs> friends, yo. friends, fans, so they can watch us live tonight. There, I'm going to share this on Instagram. I love fans, really. <laughs> How many fans we got? Let's see. <laughs> Hello, Angel. Angel. Ka oh, Davina. dear. <laughs> Hello. But yeah, Serena Jimenez. There you go. Cool. I'm saying and we the are Nuto live. Maple shout out to our guests on Kumu. Yun, Paula bring us. Hello. Oh, Woo there you go. You, Paula bring us. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, there. Oh, wow. You have you have a Cinema 76 Cafe handle specifically, no? Look at that. I like the design. Parang it's the seven is. That's Paula. That's that's our marketing manager. Okay. Okay. Look at that. There, I'm gonna tag you as well. We're gonna get yeah. this started, everyone. We're gonna have a uh, a very interesting interview uh, today with Cinema Seventy Six. So make sure to share handle. this live. And the logo, yeah. Perfect. Okay, there. Um. Okay. Oh, that's you. Okay. So Tara, have you been on have you been on Kumu before? Tara, can you hear me? Alrighty. How's your Tara, can you hear me? Hi Tara. <laughs> can you hear us right now? Tara, can you hear us? Um... As a guest on my sister's channel. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Well. Um, yes. Okay. Okay. Can you we're hear making me? sure. Yeah. Was Hello? that delayed or yeah, think... are we good? Hello. Oh no! Yes. I think there's slight delay along right now. Yeah. Hello. It's fine. I hope it gets. <laughs> oh. <in> a bit. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Everyone. I hope uh, mm -hmm. your internet connections are working fine tonight. I know it's a, it's a, it's a stormy, yeah, yeah, we can hear stormy you. day. Yeah, it's fine then. <laughs> we can hear you. There. Can you hear us? Hello? Yeah. Can you see me? Yeah, we're good. Are you good? Oh, but you can't see me. No, we can see you. Hi. We can. We can, yes. <laughs> we can see you. Today. I can hear you. We can see okay, your sweet. ring light. Yeah. But... <laughs> right, right. I think we're oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay? <laughs> All right. I think we're okay. Do you see it okay. on, on Kumu? Okay, so everyone watching, wherever you are, well, especially if you're in Kumu, you have a chance to send over any questions you have, especially about Cinema 76. We miss it so much. I'm sure a lot of you do too. Yeah, uh, so it's, memories. It's very much, <laughs> it's very much a pleasure <laughs> to, uh, to have uh, Cinema 76 here to talk about their new cafe. Um, I don't know about you, Tristan. Are we ready to kick off this interview? Shall yeah, we? yeah. Alam mo, it's nice that you mentioned your memories because I like feeling ko since we're both cinephiles, like our episode today will be us bring bringing back the the past. Oh my talking gosh. about like our experiences in Cinema Seventy Six, the whole shebang. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> coping, coping. All right, so let's get this show on the road. This is Hustle Inside the Industry, <laughs> where we talk to professionals and find out how they got here, why they're doing what they do, and what it takes to do it. We are live right here now on Rappler, LinkedIn, and Kumu. But if you're streaming us on Kumu, please join in the conversation. You can send over some questions or some diamonds if you like what you hear. 
And yeah, Tristan. And if you if you're not yet in Kumu, you can download the app. That's Kumu K U M U. And if you don't, um, if you do, make sure to follow Rapper.com. That's D O T C O M Rapper.com. So we spell out the the whole thing. Awesome. And if you like this interview and you want to play it back in podcast form, follow Hustle Inside the Industry on Spotify or any podcast platform, really. This episode comes out next Monday, July 26. Um, But as always, this is Powie. And this is Tristan. We are part of Rapper's Hustle team. We are Rapper's Hustle team. (laughs) We are. Now there's plenty of us. There's plenty of us. Now, throughout our show, we've delved a lot into the film industry, probably more than any other industry from production to distribution. But now we're going on a little pivot, very much in the same way that this beloved theater has, uh, and talk about the theatrical dining experience with Cinema 76. Tristan, what is the last film you've seen at Cinema 76? I don't know, like you you asked me this before, and like I can't remember the last, whether it's like um it's, it's um so John Denver trending, but I remember the first oh, film I, I caught it was in 2015. I was um newly single and then I got I got to watch um what's the Something film I know na, ah, ang kwento natin dalawa. It's the it's okay. the first yeah. film. Mm. It's, a, it's a film before Tayo sa Huling Buwan ng Taon, so yeah, so the memories, the feels. <laughs> you know, nah, and, <laughs> what is the well, last mine, film you saw? Yeah. Mine was completely different from yours, but just <laughs> kind of like just the uh, uh, kind of just shows the range. But mine was by bus, so so that was fun, oh. very fun viewing uh, at the uh, San Juan branch. But anyway, anyway, we'll talk more about this later. Um, although it's been a long time since, like many establishments. Cinema 76 has found new ways uh, to stay with their audience uh, with their new cafe. Here to talk more about it, we have Cinema 76 Film Society and Cafe Manager, Tere Villonco. Welcome, Tere. Hey, Tere. Hi. Good evening. Welcome to the show. Okay. <laughs> uh, tell Hi. our audience where you are right now. I see a screen behind you. Nakaka miss. <laughs> yes. I am in Cinema One in our Anonas branch uh, for nice. Cinema Seventy Six. Actually, yeah, we're right above the cafe. Yes. Nice. nice. So the cafe yeah, right is in right the now. the theater in the cafe. Yeah. They're in one compound. Just so we're clear and the viewers know. Sorry. Hello. They're in one compound. The theater yes. and the cafe. Yes, yeah, like right when you exit the door of the cinema, it's already the stairs going to the cafe. Yeah. yeah. So since we're talking about the cafe, naren, um, tere, I know you're a producer, so can you give us an elevator pitch? Like, what is Cinema 76 Cafe? Parang what makes it unique? Diba? Very, um, cinema uh, seven... <laughs> Sell it to cinema us. Cinema 76 Cafe is a venue for moviegoers. Um, Sorry, this is, I am doing this wrong. Okay. It is a <laughs> wow, this is pressure. You're doing fine. Um, You're doing fine. <laughs> it's it's a place for moviegoers and cinephiles to hang out um, in order to experience like nostalgia um, due to the cinemas closing down during the pandemic. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's what, what it's about. What what's like? Yeah, rich, rich, how about the the fare, like the the food and the drinks? Like, is it like movie themed? Like, uh, how do you um, curate? For right now, actually, yes, it is movie themed. Um, our mango cake is actually inspired by the uh, a scene in Goyo. I yeah. Remember that. Yeah. yeah. Gwen Zamora. Yeah. Tama ba Gwen Zamora saying yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So we have the mango cake, and then we do have a popcorn frap. So obviously cinema what? cinema without popcorn yeah so we have a popcorn frap okay definitely checking um, that out yeah i want to so know I've... when's the bagnet oh the bagnet i'm drunk i love you bagnet oh my god we're giving you the best idea no you got the obvious ideas your... <laughs> yeah this is your free Good. audience uh, survey um, so... right there yeah <laughs> Yeah. So right now we are focused on caffeinated drinks. So everything, uh, most of our beverages have coffee. Um, and then right now we're also just serving um, cakes and pastries for the meantime. So we're starting small, 
but we have big plans. Mm. Ooh, um, we have okay. plans to, yeah, we have plans to go into like a savory menu eventually. Um, and hopefully, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hopefully along the way, <laughs> um, we will have liquor and alcohol along the way. Oh, okay. Uh, nice. That, you know, but that's like in the future, Pab, sure. but it is in the pipeline. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, we'll have plenty of time to talk about all those things and kind of your aspirations for it. But uh, since we're just starting off this interview, let's take it all the way back. Let's talk about you um, and your own background uh, in this medium. Uh, I've known you for a while. I, um, many of us know that you've grown oh, up wow. around the film business. Yes, for sure. Uh, shout out to shout out to Rafa should be watching. <laughs> anyway, shout out to ISM. There, there you, you go. go. <laughs> Send us some diamonds, please. <laughs> um, but you, and then you eventually became a producer yourself, um, even yeah. even in uh, New York as well. But tell us, uh, give us, give us like that whole story of your trajectory and how that led to you ending up here with uh, Cinema Seventy Six and the Cinema Seventy Six Cafe. Yeah. Um. So basically, uh, when I came back home from college, um, my first job was actually with Cinemalaya. Uh, I was a monitoring officer. That was kind of like uh, my first job. Num- number one, it was my first job in Manila. And wow. it was also my first job in the industry. So that was how I was able to make my connections within the industry on my own. Um, I was assigned to certain directors to take care of certain di- directors throughout that particular season in 2014. Um, and then that's how I met my producing partner slash director that I've been working with this whole time, all the way up until now. Um, Yeah, and so that's when I met my director. And then next thing I knew, the following year, I was competing in Cinemalaya. Um, Wow. I had my own entry. And then from there, yeah, from there, I moved on to being a um, film festival coordinator for... Um, Sinag Maynila, which is under Solar yes, Entertainment Corporation. Yes. So I I worked for them for a while. And then I was also producing alongside that job. Um, and then until I ended up here in TVA. I was very happy to end up yeah. here. Um, as the So I'm, I'm the manager of the cafe as well as Cinema 76. The the cinema itself. But of course, we have no cinema right now. So right now, that's um, kind of on hold or on pause until yeah. we finally get the go signal from the government to finally reopen. So right now, yeah, we're, we're focusing on the cafe right now um, while, you know, we're just waiting for the government to say open now, so, you know. Sure. So Tara, you mentioned um Cinema Seventy Six, and maybe our audience they're not that familiar with Cinema Seventy Six. So can you like give us a brief background of like um what Cinema Seventy Six is, and now and like um how it basically um occupy the space in like Philippine cinema? But for me, uh, for me at least, I think it's like it was like um your the concept of um Cinema Seventy Six, like a micro cinema that was like groundbreaking oh my gosh, yeah. for its time, right? So. Sure. Maybe you can uh, you can um, walk us through memory lane. Yeah, so Cinema Seventy Six started in two thousand sixteen. Um, it started in San Juan, and the whole point behind it was to support local independent filmmakers and producers um, to have a place or a venue for them to showcase their work. So, because as we all well, I don't know if we all know, but most people in the industry are aware that when you release a film in the cinema, the bath, sometimes it's first day in, next day out. Right? Yeah. So, um, so basically, Cinema 76 is a way to give filmmakers a chance to showcase their work for longer than one day. I mean, just <laughs> to give, yes, to give the art form respect and, you know, yeah. the... Attention especially for the deserves. local titles, no? Yeah. 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 Especially, you know, for, for producers that, you know, don't 
really have a marketing a big marketing budget like mm, i mean true. if you're a producer that's starting out or if you're really just if you know if you're a a producer that's yeah just starting out or you're you're really doing something that you believe in yeah like at least there's a venue for that um that will give you that that respect to like show mm. your work yeah you know? and i want to share a bit because like personally like i I I was born in Cavite. I went to school in Los Banos. So like, ako rin before when I had to like catch films, it was so hard because lalo na minsan di ba like one or two days nga like you mentioned. So minsan talaga seven seven or seventy six was the only place where you could like catch it like two weeks be- two weeks after the screening di ba? Mm. Lalo pag film festivals. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we especially we especially want to showcase festival titles. Talaga. Um, especially award-winning titles. Yeah. Because sometimes um, it doesn't really get the exposure it deserves. So that's what Cinema 76 is about, is, you know, to give it importance. Because it is Perfect. important. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, uh, one thing that uh, you essentially uh, are saying is also, like, the communal aspect, right? It's like bringing, mm-hmm. bringing these films to a particular uh, community. And uh, also, we're, we happen to be Uh, streaming this live to several communities, including our community over here. I just wanted to give a few shout outs to people who who sent some. Oh, thanks, Armand, for the halo halo. Hello, Allison, May Asuncion. Welcome to the show. And and yeah, and if you're watching this, by the way, outside of Kumu, just know uh, maybe it's on Facebook or on LinkedIn. Just know that We're also on Kumu, if that's your preferred platform. You can also send us some questions. Everyone out there, please send some questions that you might have for Tara, um, especially about diamonds. Cinema 76. And diamonds. Oh, and diamonds. And diamonds yeah, because <laughs> yeah. we promise she's also going to be dropping some gems for you uh, with these answers. So anyway, <laughs> there, uh, on again, the along with like the communal vibe, there's also like this cozy vibe. In fact, I remember Cinema 76 had like the pillows and stuff like that. Yes, know. we do have the bean bags here right oh now. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't know if we can have that bags. anymore in the future, but I don't know. I don't know uh, how that's going to work. Um but anyway, um now with this cafe, let's let's get back on that uh on the current operation, right? Um so how's it going? Uh when did you launch the cafe and uh what are you learning about because from your background You haven't uh, once spoke about like a food and beverage thing, so I feel like you're learning stuff. So share share with us. Uh, what does it take to run like a like a cinema inspired cafe, especially during these times? Um, it takes a lot. Um, well, because even us here in TBA and Cinema Seventy Six, I mean, we're known to produce films. So this is our first venture into food and beverage. So it's we're all learning as we go along, um, but. You know, we're really happy to have launched this. We launched, uh, we opened on June 11th. So right now we're going for a soft opening. Still technically a soft opening. That's why we're trying to take it one step at a time, in- including our venue items. We're not kind of bombarding it just yet. Um, so actually what's nice lang about what we're going through right now is that Actually, the cafe, the cafe was what happened during the pandemic. The cafe actually started to absorb the employees of TBA. Yes, because that's the, very the important. Cinema, the cinema mm-hmm. was dead, right? Mm-hmm. So our ticket seller is now one of our baristas. <laughs> what? So that's what happened. Yeah, I so love that. that. Yeah, like um, our girl that worked with the concessionaire, now she's also one of our baristas. So it. It absorbed, um, basically, the jobs of the cinema into the cafe. Oh my cafe. gosh, that's so important. Yeah. yeah. So that was a way to survive, I guess you could say, um, in the meantime. So that's, yeah. But as but we are still learning. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're with um, the outcome. We did not expect that many people. Honestly, we really wow. did not anticipate like a full surge, surge of people because you know, like it's it's COVID. Like everybody right. is probably scared, but that's not that's not what happened. Um, the first couple of weeks, and I you're think people were just right? really excited. Yes, we are oh, yeah. Alfresco. Oh, There's there you no go. Yes. 
That's a big deal. Yeah. So there's no indoor seating. Um, it's completely open. Yun. So wow. there. So um, ter. So, di ba your so you're part of the theatrical industry. So, parang yes. I know right now there are many struggles or there are many pivots. Pero can you like give us a temperature read of like how the theatrical industry is doing right now? Like um, how do you see theaters pivoting? Because I know people are getting vaccinated, but it's like we don't know yet when we can resume doing the thing we love, like watching in theaters, like resuming the theatrical experience. Yeah. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I am also unsure about it because everybody kept saying, even earlier this year, na yung parang, oh, magbubukas na yan. Magbubukas mm-hmm. na yan in August. Mm-hmm. And magbubukas na yan in six weeks. And then there was a spike. And at this point, me and a few other producers were also just kind of like, well, I'll believe it when I see it na lang. Like, we're already at that mindset. But we're very optimistic that hopefully within the year, or towards the end of the year, Sana, um, the cinemas will open again. Um, but theatrically speaking, parang it's a little murky right mm-hmm. now. But we're trying really hard to be optimistic because at the end of the day, we we know naman it's gonna open eventually. Yeah. It's just it's really a question of when um, when the government will say it's safe to do it already mm-hmm. so i could imagine a lot of uh majority of your 2021 plan is very much focused on this cafe right i mean yes. because you that's that's too much of a variable right the the mm-hmm. whether or not people will be able to watch so so yeah i mean uh that's why that's why it's important that we're having this convo right now uh, i wanted to like uh Oh wow! We just got a hala hala from Secret Jerry. Okay, oh, that was supposed to Thank be Secret. Thank you, I guess. Secret. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like Fight Club. So, oh, Secret I mean what? Lang pala. <laughs> Secret, Secret J. J. <laughs> All right, we gotta cut that uh, part out. Anyway, we're not supposed okay. about. We're not. We're not supposed to talk about. Secret Man, we are so funny, <laughs> Tristan. Okay, anyway, well, so um. <laughs> I, I wanted to go. I'm okay now. Now, now more serious. I wanted to go into this yes. because I I think. I've found throughout my years the relationship between um, cinema or just theater in general, right? Even uh, you're talking about like um, drama, live theater, performing, performing, yes. um, and dining, right? Uh, consumption of entertainment and food. They've seen to gone uh, hand in hand throughout the decades, really. And um, so, Tara, I think I think you'd appreciate this as well. Have it being a person who also uh, lived in New York for a bit. For me personally, yeah. some of my favorite theaters are like the Nighthawk in Brooklyn or like Alamo Draft House. For those of you who don't know, these are like, um, these are kind of like special theaters that really took their dining experience to the next level. They serve like craft beer, which you can bring into the cinema. You can, you know, drink it while you're waiting in line for the movie to start. They have like gourmet food. They have dishes. That uh that are like themed after the films they're showing. It's it's crazy the levels of uh the multiple ways you can really um you know um, exercise this relationship between the two. So in terms of uh you Tara and Cinema Seventy Six, um what are ways you imagine um to keep on like exploring that relationship of the dining and the and the film experience? How do you see the two like uh? continuing to work in hand in hand in the future, especially maybe once people get to watch films again, right? You're not just gonna ditch the cafe. It's gonna be a oh, part no. of what Cinema 76 is, right? So tell us what your uh, vision is for that. Um, right now, uh, for since we're very focused on the cafe, we are trying to fill it up or in the process of filling it up with, um, since our main focus is nostalgia, uh, we're going to hopefully we get the license also from other producers to showcase their props also in Ooh. the cafe. Yeah. yeah, actually we do have the if I don't know if you're if you watch the Thought the On, which is the most recent mm. film of yeah. CDA that yeah. was released. Yeah, that, um, we, yeah, yeah. Yes. Pandemic romance, um, right? <laughs> yes. Um, we actually have the bike 
that Janine Gutierrez used. It's mm. downstairs. It's not ano there. And we Did have the posters up. I'm just kidding. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the posters up. And we also intend to put uh, props also from Luna and yes. Goya, Goya. Into, into, into the space. And eventually, bird shot yeah, we. Bird. <laughs> bird bird shot. Yung yeah. Agila, we agila. Uh, we're like, okay, okay. Yeah, so so we plan to beef that up. Um, and then for now, when the cinema is open, of course, we 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 have no intention of closing the cafe down, you know, because I mean that's also where we're probably gonna sell our popcorn. Actually, we do have popcorn downstairs. We. We hand that out sometimes on special days and random days. We give out mm. the popcorn, yeah, oh, drop as a, a complimentary, a complimentary <laughs> popcorn um, on surprise days. Nice. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there. yeah. That I was just gonna say, lang, I was gonna digress a bit. Now, what this reminds me of, like all these props, you know, back when we were kids, <laughs> back when we were kids, you know, um, you, do you remember like Planet Hollywood? Na parang, yeah, yeah, no, I, was, ako, I, was I, I was already yeah. a big um movie buff, so like, I would like roam lang the, the um those restaurants, cafes, look at the props. Like, um, I remember seeing an K. Schwarzenegger, the the Terminator shades, one of those things from Die Hard. So wala lang. I'm I'm getting. Uh, I think I think Cinema Seventy Six Cafe yeah, will I be think... like like that in the future. Na oh, bird shot. Yung ibon. No, the, <laughs> the shot bird. So, that was actually almost like the exact same way I was processed. I was actually thinking more of like Universal Studios, right? Which is kind of like uh, uh, what they did, and like things like Disneyland, these immersive experience. What they did was they made like. Uh, an otherwise 2D experience of, you know, witnessing something on the screen into a 3D immersive experience mm. of like, oh, now I can touch the thing, right? I, I can, I can yeah. be in that world. And um, um, it's what I, I just keep looping back to like how uh, kind of creative Cinema 76 has always been throughout its history, where they're kind of like in, uh, in a very indie way, right? Uh, shout out, uh, well, we're talking to you, but props to you at TBA. You've you've done things that we've seen like big studios do, but in the most like intimate ways. Like from your cinema, who said that cinemas have to be like you know you know for like a hundred people? Well, ha- let's have a micro yeah. cinema, and then boom, yeah. that became a thing. And now this cafe. I don't know what what would you say about that, uh, Terry? About kind of like that line of thinking. Kumbaga parang I mean, ang DNA niyo na is innovation, like. Yeah, well, yeah, but innovation isn't the right word either. No, but it's part of like indivation. I mean, I gotta uh, hand it to our founders, you know, yeah. Sir yeah. Nando Ortigas and Sir Ed Rocha. I mean, for yes. even coming up with Cinema Seventy Six, I mean, they were the first. I mean, they were the first micro cinema um, to give that avenue for filmmakers. Um, so what's really great about now is that they still, like even through the hardship of this pandemic, mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. even think of a cafe and to open it in the middle of a pandemic, um, I, you know, I, I gotta hand it to them. I mean, that's that's just how they think. Like, yeah. you know, to come up with something like this and just run with it and see yeah. where it goes. Um, but actually, the really nice thing about this cafe is now it gives TBA a space to also, well, since we're switching offices, all of our props. Oh, okay. <laughs> now we can <laughs> use it. Like now we have a venue to showcase. Yeah. And it was made for those mm-hmm. films, and you can actually see it up close and you see like how real it is. Mm-hmm. And it's like there, and actually, we plan we plan to to have like more costumes here, but of course, COVID, we're not ready for that yet because you know mm-hmm. having too many people try on the costumes is just a little too risky at this point. This is but, so fun, you know. <laughs> yeah, um, but we also plan Kasi, to involve um, more producers and more filmmakers and their films and showcase them here. Sana um, we plan to go that direction. 
Um, actually, we mm. do have like a stage in the middle of the cafe. Um, and we have two director's chairs there. Um, and it's kind of... I was going to say open mic. Works. Open mic. <laughs> yes, that's the plan. That's okay, part okay. of the plan. So we plan to also have live script readings. Yeah, so, you know, live what? music, all of that. Nice. Um, that's all in the plan. But right now, the stage, right now, um, there are two director's chairs there. Um, we kind of made it like a makeshift um, photo booth. So people like to take pictures in the director's chair in like the middle of the cafe. Because actually, the the booth in the cafe where they make the coffee, there's a light box on top. So it's like a weird, vin- the, those vintage things where you slide the letters into the light box. Mm-hmm. So it has that weird analog old cinema feel when you walk in. Actually, the booth, the chairs, they're also blue because of, they echo the seats inside Cinema 76. Because if people are familiar with our seating, um, our cinemas don't have like normal theater seating. It's, yes, um, exactly. They were like benches, pretty much. Yeah, the that were blue. Benches, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, benches, yeah. I felt like I remember them as more of a sofa vibe with the pillows. Yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah. So you know, I'm part of Vigo. It's very, you know, it's very outdoor, pero indoor. <laughs> so, like, you know, benches. I remember the green. Yes. My green carpet yata kayo ron. So, wow. Ba? Yeah. Memories. Very so, <laughs> um, speaking of, you mentioned there, kanina na, like, you're gonna have, like, events. So, I think, like, if you're looking into the future, then, um, and this, I know this a bit aspirational, rin, na parang, I think when it bounces back, it's like, it will be a more comprehensive um, cinematic theatrical experience. It's like those people missed it for like so mm-hmm. long. So I'm sure na parang there'll also be more ways to like enjoy the experience yeah. of like going to a cinema. So yeah. there'll be you know like what you said, um, script readings. I'm sure baka it's also a thing in the future na like um watching films and then like the the, the cast will be also there for commentary, like very very watchables. Yes. Live. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The rewatchables, yeah. That's great. Oh, yeah, anyway, you're watchables. Another pod. And now with the <laughs> podcast. There you go. Cinema 76 <laughs> podcast. Tara, we're giving you all these great ideas. I know. <laughs> I'm taking yeah. notes. <laughs> um, we got sorry, I just I just saw that we got uh thank you, Wenny Vibs Dizon for for the smile. I so I don't want to butcher it. Hi Paula, thanks so much again for the hala hala. And um, we did have a question, question from Dark Potion, uh, a pretty technical question because you were kind of like narrating us uh, the space. I'm like envisioning it now, but uh, there are, people are wondering what's the capacity of the cafe right now. Right now, we take thirty people. Wow. Or less. Right now, That's it's a, a pretty big space. It's a yeah. pretty big space. Yeah. Um, around that number. Actually, I think we even take less, just because we're we're more we're leaning more towards the safe side. Yeah. So yeah. Um, and a lot of the time, um, we if we feel like maybe it's already it seems too much, it doesn't even hit the thirty yet. We to be safe, we just you know tell people wait long, um, mm-hmm. not to come in. But you know, it's it's al fresco. We um, we sanitize everything, um, especially that photo booth in the middle. We always spray alcohol on it before somebody else sits on there. Um, so, of course, safety protocols are in place. Um, you can't come in without a mask. Um, our staff, is all, they have their masks on all the time and their face shields. Um, yeah. And then we have the, um, what do you call those? The dehumidifier in the entrance. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, or like the air purifiers, like that yeah. kind of thing. And then we have the temperature check. So, you know, we go through all the safety protocols before you yeah. actually enter. Yeah. So Actually, then. I have a question, Renita. Um, a question from me. Because, <laughs> um, so, like, I was wondering, like, I know, like, some theaters, they're, like, open for private rental like okay if it's if it's in the capacity like ano lang kayo, 10 people for a private screening so are you also open to that or is that like something that um violates mm. violates um pro- 
protocols. <laughs> you know, we we would be open to that. <laughs> but the thing is, right now, we don't want to violate anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, we we want to be 100% careful, especially when it comes to IATF guidelines. Because if, like, let's say if we do do it, and the IATF all of a sudden comes in and says, uh, oh, you made a mistake. Like, we don't want to risk yeah. um, closing down the business. Like, like, no, I'd rather be safe. Yeah, right, right, yeah. You're, like, you know, climbing yeah. back up. No. Yeah. yeah. But, so, but, but that's amazing. I mean, that's something mm-hmm. to think, you know, that's definitely something to uh, consider once once it's all okay. Um, yeah. I did. I did want to. I did want to continue on that note. Uh, more about uh, predictions. More about like on a macro scale. Uh, you know, speaking to you, who has seen uh, the local industry, uh, you know, evolve over the past ten years, especially the indie side, and also got an experience abroad. Like, what are your? You know, treat this as more of a fun question, Tara. Like, what are your more uh, personal predictions on like the future of movie going um, in the Philippines? Like, how are people uh, going to want to enjoy these movies as like this uh, social experience after pandemic? Um, <laughs> after the pandemic, I think, to be honest, I'm very optimistic. I really think everyone is just kind of. Dying to go out, na yeah, itching. Um, yeah, even me personally, um, I, I actually want to see a film on the big screen. I think I, I kind of also got sick of. <laughs> oh, I dude. Kinda, dude. Is, oh my gosh. <laughs> is it Dune? The Green Light comes out the end of this month, by the way. Uh, anyway, <laughs> you know, like it's it's kind of yeah. hard when you've been watching through your TV or your computer for like over a year. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So um that's it's like what's this called? Example, MMFF. Um mm-hmm. they released it through upstream, which I think is great. Mm-hmm. Um, but it would have been really nice to watch a film on the big screen. I think that's something that would have been know, really nice. Something you know it's gonna come back. Like there's no way that yeah. you can't replace it. That's why I think people. I I'm very optimistic that the audience will come back, and you know, I th- I think the cinemas will do well again. Um, but you know, even though we don't know when the cinemas will open, um, MMFF, MMDA, and FDCP, um, they spearheaded mm-hmm. or are still spearheading, I think, a vaccination program for the film yeah, industry, yeah, especially yeah, yeah. especially yes. cinema My exhibitors. Friend, yes. yes. Um, so, Sana, this is uh, a step to reopening because I, I mean, I think it's great that they're prioritizing the cinema exhibitors because then that means, yeah, it they're gonna hopefully they open the cinemas real soon. Um, so, yun, yeah, it also so, brings a lot of camaraderie, you know, right? Right, yeah. Tristan, yes. like, like with all, yeah, we all yes. suffered together, so yeah. <laughs> and, then, and I think, like, I think, like. We mentioned this naman in previous episodes, but like with the art spaces, with art spaces are important. It's like you cannot remove yeah. spaces and, and the camaraderie that comes with it with um within the art circle. Because like you know, like you you flock to the same places. Like even with cinema, yeah. I mean, I've talked to a lot of friends right now, and then an lagi yeah. na mention is sa cinema, yeah, they can um what they miss is like. Oh, pagtambay sa harap ng CCP. Yes. <laughs> like, waiting for the next one. Oh. Yeah. So, oh my so God, feel yeah. Ko, feel ko, ganun rin siya babalik. And like, on one end, kasi like, di ba people would say, uh, what what would get people watching in theaters again? So, iniisip ko, baka itong two years without the theaters would get people <laughs> watching <laughs> in, in theaters again. You know, there's a chance for that. <laughs> like a little boomerang graph. No. Yeah. Because <laughs> yes. if, you're, if you remove it, since you removed it for so long, uh, people will. I'm guessing people will miss it. I I don't want to think that I'm thinking in an echo chamber here when I say that parang mm-hmm. we miss the theater. So parang yeah, let's yeah. send us some yeah. hearts if you feel the way way too, Some hearts and diamonds for all you. Actually, na kaka na kaka miss yung festivals because yeah. that's yeah. that's normally where the producers talk to each other that's yeah. where you talk to the directors the actors like everybody just we all end up in the same space you share the same at the space same time, right at the yeah. same time 
yeah. and you're not competing with anybody in terms of sales because it's a festival. Mm-hmm. So you're literally like talking, and that's normally where the brainstorming and the planning happens and the collaborations happen. It's the festival. So that's true. Can't wait. Till it That'll goes, definitely goes back to and that. Since my, and, you know, and since my bar, um, TBA can start partnerships again. <laughs> Sorry. And since my bar is uh, Cinema 76, alam na na parang it will be <laughs> a place. Na. Yeah, you gotta get that liquor line. Yes. Will... <laughs> yes. Yun palang secret yes. sauce. We na. are about to get our liquor <laughs> permit. Yes. Actually, so it will be like, you know, after party, let's go. Go, go, go. Hey, you know, I just want to give a question dito sa kung Tara, it's about you. So, uh, ang tanong ni Paula bring us is like, what is your sun sign? Taba, sun. <laughs> what is your sun sign? <laughs> wow. Um, I, I know who Paula bring us that. is because she's right here. <laughs> oh, there. Hello. <laughs> um, I'm an Aquarius. My son. <laughs> Aquarius. I'm gonna kill okay. Him. Yes. <laughs> Everyone in the chat, we you wanna... need you to uh, to translate what that means. <laughs> Tristan yeah. and I don't really know. <laughs> you are. Actually, we can. Oh, we can I feel like we can ask Mama. Uh, we can ask that uh, later to expound uh, during yes, our again, play later session. Now. <laughs> let's make it okay. let's make it a Act teaser so if people wanna if people wanna hear what being a sun sign means and like what Teres moon sign and rising sign is uh, drop us those diamonds <laughs> <diba>? <laughs> yes yes yeah. wait, wait tanong, sorry wait, tanong. so what's the best seller right now though with mm, your yeah, yes. menu um right now it's the salted caramel for the cold drink it's a latte Mm, or yes, it's a... a latte. Sorry, it's, oh. it's a latte. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, need, and... I need the coffee, that's why. <laughs> yeah. Like, it needs oh, to no, have a there, caffeine element for there's me. There's coffee <laughs> in everything. I think our okay. only drink where you can have the option of not having coffee is the frap. That's it. Okay. Um, but everything else has a shot in there. So, our best seller right now is the salted caramel. But our, our specialty is really the popcorn frap. Okay. You um, they don't have getting... like thematic names, right? It's not like a not yet. Know, not I'm yet. From but, but, um, but caramel. Since you suggested, <laughs> since you suggested, <laughs> consultant, consultant, kind of. <laughs> we're giving you so much wisdom. Here. Yes. <laughs> uh, but we actually have a lot of plans for the Bird menu. shot and of espresso. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You know, Bird hopefully junk. we'll have a drink called I'm Drunk, I Love You. Right? Yes! So it'll be like oh my a gosh. Shot like that, you know. Oh my gosh. You and... So that's already, the plan. I can already taste yeah. it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like the Dito at Doon. I don't know, that will probably be two drinks because that's yeah. our most recent film. You know, we're, we're going to like play around with movie themes and characters. Um when we get there, when we start to expand our menu. Awesome. You know, I don't know what she's going to do. The drink is fiery, diba? <laughs> you know that? You know, fiery the, shot. The burning shot. Yung fiery uh, shot. So, guys, you're watching you're... the brainstorming for the menu now. No, <laughs> this so is welcome a film. Welcome to our, I think this welcome is a to film. our public, <laughs> public brainstorming. <laughs> and send your... Send your uh, suggestions in the comments. Yes. Yeah. So I think we have to we we've, we've digressed too much. So let's move to the next question. So since we've been talking yeah. about moving forward, what are your predictions? So what's next for you and Cinema Seventy Six? Um, in general, okay. so yeah. for Cinema, well, as we all know, Cinema Seventy Six, we're waiting for the government, but we have um, we're very hopeful that at least in some small capacity. Um, we can open um, and hold events, or at least hold events. I'm, I'm not. I'm mm. not trying to rush the process of like yeah, opening dude, cinema, but dude, at least, dude. I mean, at I, least begin. You right. know, I mean, you are a venue. If it's a venue, you can do other stuff in it. Yeah, doesn't have. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the cafe. Um, of course, we want to, you know, expand the cafe, um, and hopefully turn. Uh, also have like some sort of night shift for us um and in terms of projects we're really just waiting for the government 
until we can we can feel confident that we can shoot a film um, without yeah. getting sick, basically. Um, you know, so hopefully this vaccination process um, you know, gets better. Yeah, yeah. 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 Tristan wants yeah. the insider information. That's we need the, in the to complete the trilogy, guys. Yeah, because we, uh, the we interviewed um, Gerald Taurog. Like, it was one of our early episodes mm. uh, mm. inside the industry. So, at that time, he was really talk, parang he was um, raving na, yun nga, I think Kezo na yata next project na, na he was already researching. Because yeah. at yeah. the time, sabi niya, he was doing Darna, pero while doing Darna, he's also writing the script for for Kezo, di ba? So, parang, sa <laughs> Okay, so we're going to have him back on the podcast <laughs> once once that finally comes together. Um yes. Tere, I mean, yes. you know, we've we've uh we we were able to uh really enjoy this like nostalgic uh trip and kind of like uh speak about our aspirations especially in all these aspects of the film industry, especially coming from yourself who's been on so many uh different sides of it. Um, for all of those watching out there, uh, do you have any last bits of advice uh, for anyone generally interested in uh, working in cinema somehow, whether it be in production or exhibition uh, like yourself? Any advice for right now during the well, pandemic? Uh, no, just general. <laughs> or actually, up to you. Up to you. But, but I like a little hard advice. in this pandemic. Um, any advice that you've learned? Actually, not advice anyway, because, you know, we have a lot of gen... Gen Zs, young Gen young millennials who are looking for yeah, looking for their path in life. So <laughs> um, you can share some words of wisdom. Honestly, like at this point, I hate to sound like a cliche, but just keep I mean, if you're a writer, keep writing. If you have a concept, oh. just you know <laughs> keep yes. it going. I'm like, oh yeah, just, just keep it going, really. <laughs> like Write it down or something because the moment this pandemic, you know, we get a handle on it, like you can just run with it. Really. Like the sky's the limit at this point. Like I really feel like this pandemic has kind of put everybody's priorities like in place or like actually ignited something creative in them. So you can I feel like if you're gonna start anything, this is the time to reinvent. Or yeah. innovate. Ooh, it's this a is reset. the perfect time. This is the perfect time, and I feel like that doesn't even have an age limit. I feel like not even not just for Gen Zs. I think for people of all ages. Everyone out like, there just, watching and listening, yeah. You know, just keep it going at this point, because there's re- you really have nothing to lose at this point. I think this is pretty bad already. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you you can't even. <laughs> This is, and we're still like, to go but up here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's to go nowhere else up. to go. You <laughs> nice. know, I mean, we're speaking, we're talking about life and death with COVID. So I feel like you have nothing to lose. So you might as well just do what you want to do. Um, what you dream of doing or what the things that you planned before. So again, yeah, go, you know, just just do it. Nice. I think the next segment, natin, si Pao, since he got inspired by your, your words, <laughs> so, uh, play of the week Before, oh, oh no, no no this is great this is great yeah. um that, that, that's <laughs> the perfect segue so so thanks so much Tara, for for all of that Thank um you so we're much moving for on to our me. ending this is our uh, last segment before we let you go. We're going to wrap things up now, as we always do with our play of the week. Now, we talked a lot about work. It's time to talk about play. Any fun activities or recommendations for our viewers to unwind from the busyness of business? What you got? Read your heart. No! <laughs> no, 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 no. She already I said it. What, what did it say? Go, go. Yes, okay. I don't know. I like reading my horoscope. Okay. La Tell because us I more. guess at this point, like I don't know what the future is about. I don't know, like you know, like where is this pandemic going to go? Um, so I just like to read my horoscope. Where, what do you read it on? Like uh, as um, someone who like doesn't know anything about this, like don't other different download... things tell you different different places tell you different things? Seva? Again, is it Seva app? Like? Co-star. Co-star. You Co-star. 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 Okay. Yeah. The really good one or the pattern. The pattern, 
that actually Channing Tatum uses the pattern. Actually, that's how I got into the pattern. Wait, Channing, Channing Tatum, Tatum got you onto the pattern. <laughs> so, so what's what's Channing's kind of a, what's Channing's um sun sign? I am. <laughs> Wait, Actually, I don't know, but he was. I I just saw a video of him freaking out on Instagram because he's like, "What is up with you, the pattern? How do you know about my life?" Like he was going to. Oh, oh my God! I've seen those videos. It's oh, so like funny. Oh, like he's about it. So, yeah. So I, I I downloaded it, and it actually resonates. Yeah, no, that seems especially now. Now that's not that we're locked down. Exactly what you said. Like we don't know what's going on, you know. So that that's like a that's like a to get, I'll take my chances. A solid play of the week. Yeah. So remember, do me talent ka daw sa bilito ni Gerald. You can interpret zodiac signs though. So oh, no, no <laughs> so I without, can. The app, without without the app. <laughs> I just I just like to like read up about uh, the other signs and stuff, but I can't interpret off the top of my head. Uh, I thought I thought you can like sense <laughs> <Yeah>. already. <laughs> I have friends who can. <laughs> wow. I have friends who really can. They'll just they'll just look at you and they already know. Tristan, mm-hmm. the, that's our next. Those are our next guests, by the way. So there you go. <laughs> Oh yeah. wait, actually, you wanna plug? You wanna plug in? Um, we have another podcast at Rappler. Tristan, can you? Yeah, can you actually, tell our audience. You mentioned you know, about reading, so actually, we have a podcast that handles astrology and like we read the the signs of like um of personalities of celebrities yeah. without oh, them wow. knowing. So because <laughs> like not we did. We. Um, uh, uh, but yes, not, Rappler not us, does. Uh, Rappler. <laughs> so it's called Astrology M. With yeah. am I saying it right? Astrology M. Or kailangan mo nang mas, da, mas so. That's how it's spelled. It, yeah. But you can find it on yeah. Spotify. And Astrology M. Yeah. With the yeah. So we did an episode oh, okay. on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, I think. So we also nice. did one on the president <laughs> on Rodrigo de Cadena. So basically, they. <laughs> I think that was the first. <laughs> that's our that's our debut episode. Oh, wow. so again, it's um. So it's like that lang, parang personalities, and then nice. we we interpret their their sun, moon, and rising signs. <laughs> you? Yes. Tristan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tristan. And then I don't, I'm not sure if that's your your play of the week, but uh, what, no. <laughs> what what is your play of the week in addition to that? Ako, I know you keep um you say you keep saying uh, I already mentioned this like when I say a play of the week, but I I actually shifted. To not anime, but reading the manga this time around. Okay, so I yeah. read Jujutsu Kaisen's oh. manga. I finally got my hands on a copy. So I and so I I'm tell our audience what what, what it's about. Pass the so basically Jujutsu Kaisen. It's about um. It's basically the way you see it. Para siyang, they try to take a random fact about the world and then build a built lore about it so that that fact is like in japan yata there are like ten thousand or um ten thousand deaths every year that are unexplained so what they did was they explained it by saying okay these ten thousand deaths they're caused by um curses so curse spir- spirits so example because basically again sorry i'm gonna go into japanese territory curse spirits though are those mga um if you have like negative emotions, they turn into spirits and then this mm. cause harm. So basically, Jujutsu Kaisen, it's about um, exorcists, sorcerers who exercise oh. these spirits. It's, it's, it's a very shonen... But with like fighting. With fighting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, with fighting. They exercise Ooh. it with fighting. It's really so they have skills, it's yeah. 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 So I had to know what happens after the the first season so hindi pa animated mm-hmm. kasi yung second season so i had to get my hands on the manga so nice. that's, that's what oh. i'm reading right now <laughs> great wreck um okay i'm going and to then thematic tomorrow with, yeah go yeah go there tomorrow like it's kingdom just want to remind people kingdom <gasps> on netflix the, the, what season is that i'm so now? excited the, no it, it, it's not a season it's the it's the movie Oh, Action of the North, yeah. It's yeah. Oh, it's there you go. Up, basically, about a about a character. They zoom in on this like new character. Lang, just want to plug. There that you in go. The I'm sure time. a lot of our viewers know what they're watching this weekend. Um, okay, well, I'm going thematic with this to to cap things off. Um, so it is the penultimate 
week, sadly, of the uh, this year's uh, Cinemalaya Ricky Lee Script Writing Workshop, which I've had the pleasure Ooh. of being a part of. Yeah. Yay. So, um, a, a big a big part of that, other than you know my batch and Sir Ricky himself, is really just this gift in general that anyone can avail of. It's his most famous, uh, you know, script script writing manual. Excuse me, Tripto Kiapo, very much based on his his framework of the many different kinds of writers out there, creative writers, uh, expressed with uh, Sir Ricky's parable, uh, which is a trip to Kiapo. So yeah, it's it's a very educational uh, screenwriting book. As someone who's been writing scripts for almost 10 years now, huh? like, um, and read some of these books, it really takes me back to grade school. Look at this. It's like really a textbook. You see that? <laughs> and then you, you, dr- you write in it. No, that was my mga exercises, and then you you actually like are encouraged to write stretching, on it. Stretching, but and, ano exercise you gonna yeah. stretching? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, but you you know you just make a mess out of it, and and I love that. Even as someone who who loves, I'm not the book lover that like I have to keep my books in pristine condition. I'm the kind of book lover who's like, if I don't make my mark in it, have I act, have I really read it? Right. Yeah. So so for. For my piece of advice, I guess, for anyone, like what Tara said, um, aside from uh, keep writing what you're writing, like keep reading as well. And um, if you haven't read this yet, this is going to, this is invaluable right here. So yeah, so, I think you can order this on Lazada. And does stuff. he get to Kiapo? Does he get to Kiapo in the story? <laughs> can you tell you something? Or, it's so funny. When you talk to, when you talk to Sir Ricky, he'll, he'll tell you, he'll tell you stuff like, was Kiapo ever really there? You know, like that kind of stuff, you know? Oh, it's super, the friends you make along the way. Yes, it's like, it's Kiapo a, is not physically it's in about Kiapo. The journey. It's just wherever <laughs> you are, that's station. where Kiapo is. Anyway, shout out to Sir Ricky. Shout out to all my batchmates uh, who, who are probably watching right now. I love you guys. But anyway, um, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this all up. Tere, last plugs. How can people keep up with Cinema Seventy Six? Um, you can follow us in our social media accounts. So um, you can follow us at Cinema Seventy Six S or Cinema Seventy Six Cafe um, for updates. We also have our Facebook page for that, and we are open from Mondays uh, Mondays to Fridays from one to seven. But actually, we're going to be open already on Saturdays, starting next week. So we will be open from Mondays to Saturdays from 1 to 7. You want to repeat yeah. where and we the... Are here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where it is. Location, yeah. Um, yeah, where a, it is, yeah. Yeah. It's on the second floor of the Anonas LRT City Center um, here on Aurora Boulevard. Nice. Yun. So where the old Cinema 70, where Cinema 76 Cinema is, it's actually downstairs. So it's just on the second floor. Perfect. Yeah. We'll be sure yeah. to check it out sometime. Um, yeah. For all of you out there who want to follow uh, the show or follow your hosts, I'm at um, I'm on Instagram and Twitter at Pawi Fiction, P-A-W-I Fiction. Tristan? I am at Tristan Zinampan, so walang arte. <laughs> it's just Tristan Zinampan yeah. across all platforms. Wait, what are you saying about my handle, bro? Okay, no, anyway. I'm not, I'm not, I'm okay. not sub- <laughs> I'm, I'm saying me, wala, I, I'm not it's, creative enough. I'm not a writer. <laughs> Sarah, we're going to have to, we're, we're going to do like a little makeover with Tristan's handle, okay? You and I. All right, anyway. Yes. Thanks so much, Tara, for no? joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you for having me. And thank you, everyone thank out there, Tara. for watching and listening. If you haven't already, please follow Rappler on all platforms. You can catch us on Kumu by following Rappler.com. And you can follow The Hustle Inside the Industry Spot- Inside the Industry Podcast on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. We bring you a new episode every Monday so you can start your week with a little motivation. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.